Hello everyone and welcome to another Computer Software Is Your Friend tutorial. Today I will show you how to triple boot Windows 8, Ubuntu 11.10, and Mac OS X. Now to do so you need to follow some of my previous tutorials and once you've installed the Macs and Windows dual boot and once you've then installed the Linux of well, all the Ubuntu on your on your system then you can see the magic which is why I'm here right now now essentially you can do this from Windows but for today I'll show you how to use how to do this in Ubuntu in the case that you're dual booting between Mac OS X and Ubuntu in which case the grub bootloader will not allow you to boot into Mac OS X it'll detect it but it won't allow you to boot now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the dashboard and you're going to want to type gparted which is a, a partition editor if, if you don't already have it installed install it it's very simple to do um, and I'm assuming that at this part point in time if if you're able to do this then you should be fine so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to enter your password. This is one of the security protocols within Ubuntu. Anything that can uh, edit the system will require a password. Now it's going to detect the partitions. And as you can see, I have, a, I have four partitions on this hard drive. I have one which is the OEM backup. Then I have a Windows one, a Mac one, and the Ubuntu one. And uh, it's very noticeable which is which just by the file system. Now, essentially, what you're going to want to do is, on the Mac partition, you have a bootloader. So you're going to want to right-click on that, and you're going to want to ma click Manage Flags. And you're going to get a whole bunch of different flags here. You're going to want to put the boot flag, and then you're going to want to click Close. What this is going to do is it's going to change the default boot partition from Ubuntu Linux to the Mac OS X partition. Okay, so now this is done and we can close the window and we can restart the computer. Now if you've already done the Mac tutorial you'll know that the Mac OS X bootloader is able to boot into Windows and, and, uh, and Mac. So basically what we're going to test now or what we should be able to do is boot into Ubuntu from the NBI bootloader or whatever bootloader you chose to install on your Mac OS X computer. Hackintosh. So now it's going to uh, load the bootloader as you can see and essentially here's our option for Windows here's Mac OS X and here's Linux. So we're going to click Linux and here we are into the Linux Grub menu and it is booting into Ubuntu. As I'll show you, Windows 8 Developer Preview actually um, actually starts. So again, it's restarting Ubuntu. And it's going to be booting into the Mac partition which has the other bootloader which is compatible with all three operating systems and now what we're going to do is we're going to boot into Windows and here's Windows 8 
And here you have it. Here's the Windows logon screen. Now all you gotta do is enter your your PIN number if you've chosen that to be your security setting. Of course, a PIN is just an overlay for the password so that you won't have to type your password every time. And as you can see, we got into Windows with absolutely no problems. Here's Windows. So, now you can basically access all three types of uh, operating systems on one computer with no issues. And here's Ubuntu already loaded up. So this has been another computer software. It's your friend tutorial. Uh, please do comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, so I have all three booting on the same system. You can do it too. All it requires is an external bootloader and uh, you should be fine.